Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Alyssa and thank you so much for joining us. So, welcome back guys. Happy New Year, first of all. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I know it's been a long time. I do have a valid excuse this time though. Um, because if you don't follow me on any of my other social media, I am pregnant. We are having a baby, which is just a huge dream come true. I'm so excited. I literally feel like my whole world, my whole life is just so complete and perfect at the moment. I couldn't be happier and feel luckier. Um, yeah, so we are expecting a baby towards the end of June. So best summer of my life pending with a tiny little Oh God, guys, I can't, I'm so, so excited. So I thought the best thing to do, coming back to YouTube, coming back with obviously a whole new outlook on things, everything's gonna be very different, my life is gonna be completely changing. To be honest, it already has changed a lot. Um, so let's just kick this off with a Q&A, let's catch up, let's talk all things pregnancy, baby, um, and yeah, so I did actually pop a Q&A box on my Instagram, so I've got some questions on there, and then I also had a look on YouTube to just see if there was like a pregnancy Q&A tag, to see if there was just some generalised questions that I could throw in there as well. Um, so I'll do a mix of both so we can have a proper catch up. I can fill you in on all the goss, all the details, everything to do with pregnancy so far. I am currently 15 weeks pregnant. Um, so yeah, God, guys, we have so much to catch up on. But honestly, I just feel like last year was my best year career wise. Bobby and I couldn't be in a better place. You know, we're so happy. We're getting married in 2025. Next year, I can say that now, I'm getting married next year. Crazy. Um, and yeah, we're just both doing really well. Like we are ready for it. I think now's just, we didn't, I'll go into this, but we didn't plan it, but it's just, everything's just perfectly fallen into place. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's get to the questions and then I can actually fill you in. So yeah, please do make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll appreciate it so much. And once again, I'm so sorry that it's been so long. Hopefully I'm back for good this time. One thing about pregnancy is I am so, so thirsty all the time, especially going into like the second trimester. I'm so dehydrated constantly. I can't drink enough, I'm literally a fish. Right, so first question, which I think I'm gonna kick off with is um, from a beautiful girl called Paula on my Instagram. And she said, did you guys plan it? So happy for you, you'll be the best mum. Oh, so exciting. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you so much. Um, right, did we plan it? No, we did not plan it. However, were we actively preventing it happening? No, we were not. So with that in mind, it was probably inevitable that it was gonna happen. <laughs> but I think if we had like the perfect plan in life, we always said that we'd be like properly trying for a baby after the wedding, which is next year. So next May we're getting married. We probably would have then started trying and wanted a baby as soon as we're married. Um, obviously fell pregnant and like I just said previously, last year was my best year career-wise. Obviously, I ring off Anthony Joshua twice. I went to work with, um, I flew to Dublin for work, to Malta for work. Um, what else did I do? I went to Germany for work. I worked with Ignite, which was amazing. Like, I just feel like last year was so, so amazing career-wise. I feel like I ticked so many goals off my list. Like, I feel like... I'm happy now, I'm proud of what I've achieved with my modelling and stuff. I'm not saying I'm not gonna go back to it because maybe in the future I will pick a little bit up here and there, but I think I'm ready for that chapter to end or temporarily end and go into mum life. Like I just feel ready for it. So yeah, this year is all about growing and birthing a baby hopefully being a good mum, settling into mum life, and then next year we get married. So yeah, literally the best two years of my life are currently just beginning, which is beyond exciting, so yeah. Ah! So no, we didn't plan it, um, 
but we were always okay with it happening we're ready now's a great time so it was like when i found out that i was pregnant it was like let's go let's do this okay next question is from chloe and she said did you know you were pregnant before you took the test did you feel like you were um and i also got asked by someone else where were you when you found out so um my periods i haven't been on birth control so i was on the pill from like the age of like 15 until the age of 22 23 a long 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 time to be on the pill um and when we moved house i had to change my doctor's um gp surgery and i to be honest i was just a bit lazy with it and hadn't got around to doing it and then i ran out of my pills um and i hadn't signed up to my new gp yet so um and obviously my old one was like 45 minutes away probably more actually probably more like an hour away um so because of that i just naturally ran out of my pills and i thought you know what I'm not going to go back on this. I'm just going to take a break. I'm just going to leave it. And oh my God, the difference I felt. I felt like a whole new person. I felt a million times happier, um, less angry. Like, I just can't explain how much better I felt coming off that pill. So I was like, that's it. I'm never going back on that. So yeah, so obviously I wasn't on any birth control. And since then, um, it's obviously been a few years. We've been here for two and a half years. So my periods had really gone back into like a really great natural cycle. Um, they are pretty much like 28 days. Um, they're quite fairly light, I'd say. They only last for like three to four days. Um, and they're always kind of, I can predict when they're gonna be exactly every single month. So I've got really great regular periods, which I'm quite lucky to have. Um, so because of that, when I was like literally two days late with my period, I straight away thought, I wonder if I'm pregnant, I should probably do a test. And I'll be honest, I've had, where I haven't been on um, birth control or anything, and we haven't been <laughs> careful, <laughs> um, there has been like quite a few occasions where I've always, I've just had a little feeling, I've just thought, let me just do a test and, and just check. So um, I've done tests loads of times before, to be honest. Um, but anyway, I think I was like two days late. I thought I'm gonna get a test and just check. I did. I think I did have a bit of a feeling, if I'm honest. Um, so yes, I went and bought some tests. I bought a few. Um, went back home, did the tests, and this was like a weekday. And I think it was a Friday. It was a weekday, and this was kind of like late morning. Bobby was at work. I did the tests. Found out that I was pregnant, and then I just remember like Bobby. It, depending on what he's doing with his work day like sometimes he might be driving around traveling a bit and it was one of those days where I think he was he had like a two-hour drive somewhere and then he did like a workshop at a football club and then he had the long drive back and whenever he's like driving around he always calls me throughout the day like just to like have a little catch up we just have a little chat so he always calls me throughout the day if I'm at home and he's kind of out and about um and he kept calling me and he kept saying to me like what's wrong like why are you being weird? And I just kept saying, oh, no, I'm fine. Like, nothing's wrong. Like, but it's because I had this big, like, there was this big elephant in the room and I wanted to be like, we're having a baby. Like, I'm pregnant. But I didn't want to tell him over the phone. I wanted to tell him in person. So he kept ringing me and I kept just trying to, like, be blunt and, like, dead the conversation because I didn't want to let it out. So he was like, there's something wrong. Like, this is really weird. Um, but he let it go in the end and then he came back from home and I just showed him the test and then like I just ran at him and he gave me the biggest hug and he was couldn't stop smiling he was so happy and I was crying and yeah it was pretty perfect so yeah that's how we found out that we were having a baby um, yeah and it, it really sticks out to me because that day was torrential rain like it was heavily pouring all day like there were it was really bad flooding we'd also booked like i mean we do go out for dinner probably every couple of weeks um but we'd already like booked a date night for that night we booked a table um at this restaurant in peterborough um and we had that like booked in as like a date night that i've been really looking forward to so it was also really weird like the day sticks out to me because it was torrential rain all day and you know me i actually love the rain i love being home and cozy when it's raining i literally love the rain i know it's weird but i love it um so that was cool that was just raining so heavily all day 
and obviously we had a date night booked that night as well so it's like Bobby came home I told him and we were just like so excited and then we had like a nice little date night went out for dinner and just like sat chatting about it and had some nice food so it was a really special day like I wish I could just like repeat that day over and over and again so the next question is from my beautiful friend Jess and she said are you going to do a gender reveal or wait so this question oh my goodness I've been losing sleep over it and it's really not that deep before I was pregnant but think like thinking ahead to my first ever pregnancy like I've always planned and always wanted a big elaborate gender reveal party always wanted it you see it on YouTube and Instagram TikTok and everything and they've got these elaborate displays behind you balloons you get a cake fireworks cannons like literally everything that's so elaborate and you dress up and you've got all your family there and it's this big amazing party and it looks it looks so good and that was exactly what I wanted I've always wanted that but then when it actually has come down to it and the planning of it it's exactly not what we're gonna do um for many reasons I think number one as a vet, I know this makes it sound quite vain, but I generally think the only reason why I wanted to do that was generally so that I'd get amazing pictures and videos out of it because I wanted to spend all this money on these big displays and it'd be exactly perfect like you see on Instagram and TikTok and whatever and I wanted all of that just so I'd have the pictures and videos of it. But then when I actually came to thinking about it, do I want to find out if we're having a baby girl or a baby boy with everyone else there finding out at exactly the same time no special moment for Bobby and I we can't just have our, like find out and have our own little chat and be all excited and you know talk to the baby like connect with the baby on another level um, and just have our own little private moment we won't be able to have that because it'll be in front of everyone which like I say everyone will find out before us before we even get to process it um, and yeah I just also if we were to put on this big party, then I'd worry as well that I'd spend the whole time worrying about everyone being happy, everyone being content, like, has everyone got enough food? Has someone spilled a drink? Like, sorting out all these things that, again, it would just take away from the moment and it would just stress me out a bit more and just ruin it. So I was thinking about those reasons in particular. And then it came down to the fact that it's obviously going to be winter because we should be finding out in a few weeks' time very, very, very soon what the gender is. So, yeah, we are going to find out, by the way. Um, but, yeah, so it would have been, like, winter, like, January, finding out. So we can't do it in the garden because it would be absolutely freezing cold. Um, our house is too small, which, again, it would have been too small to have all these <laughs> elaborate displays and balloons everywhere. So I don't think we would have got much good content out of it anyway because everyone would have been, like stuck in our living room like I was gonna say like penguins but what's the phrase anyway forget it just blame the baby brain but you know what I mean like everyone's gonna be packed like sardines is it in here and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be carnage so that wasn't working so then the last resort was I was gonna hire a village hall and there's a really nice village hall five minutes down the road from where we live and it's huge it's really modern it's got these great big windows so it's got all this natural light coming through so I thought that would be perfect let's hire that out so I thought if I'm going to do this we're going to do this we're going to spend money on it we're going to have this big elaborate party so I inquired about the hall and just based off of the dates as well sorry I know this is an extremely long story for the simple question are you doing a gender reveal um but let's just keep keep waffling let's keep rambling on so I inquired about the hall and basically the dates that lined up for when we could have a private scan to find out the gender would then mean that we could then I think we were going to do it find out say like midweek and then I was looking at booking this village hall for the weekend so we wouldn't have to wait long because obviously we're going to have this envelope after the scan with the gender reveal in and we're not going to know what it is and we're going to be like I know what I'm like, I'm gonna, I will probably open that if I wait too long. So I thought we'll just do it on the weekend, then we won't have to wait long. And then that weekend ended up being the same weekend that Bobby's parents would be, we would, sorry, would be flying back from their holiday. Um, and I didn't want them to have to, you know, like rush back from the airport after like a long, um, long day of traveling. So I thought that's not gonna work out. So then I tried to look for the following weekend um thinking oh we can wait like two weeks and um 
the village hall wasn't available they could only do like the evening and again for like stupid reasons which is just it's just really stupid of me but I was, they couldn't do it until the evening then I was thinking well it's going to be dark then which means I'm not going to get natural light for my perfect Instagram pictures and videos and I just thought at this point why the hell am I so stressed and concerned about Instagram pictures and videos like this is honestly ridiculous and that's when I kept saying to myself like I don't even want to find out in front of everyone I want Bobby and I to have our own special moment but do I want a special memory that we can keep and look back forever so long story short we booked a private scan we're gonna get them to give it to us in an envelope the next day I'm gonna run to my I've got a balloon lady called she's her company's touch of glass I'm gonna run the envelope to her she's gonna do us one of them big um, like gender reveal balloons that you just pop she's gonna sort that for me um, so she'll do that um, in the morning and then I'll take it back and then Bobby and I are gonna do our own private gender reveal so it'll still be like a special moment I'm gonna pop the balloon together I will hopefully set up my phone and video it so we've got the memory um, and we'll pop it together in our home just us we'll find out what the gender is we can enjoy it like have our own special moment and just enjoy the moment and then when we're ready to share it we'll just send them video because then obviously we'll have that video with that kind of exciting surprise reveal and then we're just going to surprise all our family and friends and just send it to them so that's the plan i can't believe i've spent six minutes stressing about a gender reveal but yeah i think it's just so easy to get caught up on everything that you see on social media and think that that's how you need to do it but yeah like i say the bottom line is I don't want to find out the gender of our baby in front of like everybody else finding out at the same time and then I just want to like hold Bobby and be like oh my god we're having a boy we're having a girl and we know the names already so it would be like oh so and so and then like just wanting to plan everything and I want to go shopping and start buying things for the baby because I haven't bought anything for the baby yet because unisex stuff is just not the same. It's just all like plain white and it's just a bit boring. So I can't wait to know if it's a girl or boy so I can start shopping and buy loads of stuff. So, and like plan the nursery. So I just want to have all these chats and just like be so excited about it with Bobby instead of having like everyone, like friends, family, Bobby's family, my family, like colleagues, friends, like everyone like being like, oh my God, it's a girl like trying to and I would just be like it, it's just be too much so I'm really pleased with what we've decided to do maybe in the future if like everything works out then we will have a big gender reveal party um I, I'm not saying like no completely like I still would love to do it one day and have like the big shebang but for now I'm really pleased what we've decided to do I literally can't wait to find out if it's a girl or boy like I say at the moment like I do, I don't know, like, it's hard to have a connection with the baby when you don't know if it's like a girl or boy because you you have to call it it or they, like, or the baby. And it just doesn't feel as, like, personal. Um, and obviously I can't feel anything yet. There's no kicks or anything. I've got, by the way, I've got no sense of whether it's a boy or girl whatsoever. I honestly have no clue. Whereas I'm starting to, like... Basically, any friends or family or colleagues or whatever that know I'm pregnant, I literally, they just, they look at me and they go, it's a boy. Like, everyone thinks we're having a boy. And I'm just sitting there like, first of all, we don't mind if we're having a girl or boy. But I just, I don't understand how people can just look at me and be like, girl, boy, well, everyone's saying boy, when it's lit, the baby's literally in my belly. And I have no idea. I have no feeling. I've got no gut feel literally i have no idea so i just feel like once we know if it's a girl or boy i'll be able to like connect with them so much more i'll be able to you know it's he it's she it's it's like more of an actual person and it's gonna feel so much more real so it's just so special i can't wait and i can't wait to go shopping i'm literally planning on going shopping like the next day <laughs> i'm gonna buy so many cute clothes but I've literally been waiting to do that and like, like I say I, I've just got to a point where I thought there's no point buying anything that's just gonna be like plain and boring when my child is not gonna be plain and boring <laughs> whether it's a girl or a boy so yeah and also in fact I'll just throw in like another question here like off of the back of this one do you have a preference whether it's girl or boy um Bobby's always said like since 
like our whole relationship but he's always said like oh I just want a girl like I really want a girl he's always wanted a girl I don't know why because you think he'd want a boy to like play football with and, and like all that typical boy stuff but um yeah he's always wanted a girl but the bottom line is right we both he's one of four siblings I'm one of five siblings and I've got half brother as well so we both have big families and because of that we both know that hopefully if we're lucky enough we we want a big family as well like I'm talking three kids minimum so ideally we'll have both so because of that there's literally no pressure or like no preference on whether we do have a girl or boy first time round because hopefully we'll be lucky enough to have loads more babies and hopefully we'll get to have girls and boys so yeah that's that really um also I don't know like I feel like with girls I know what I'm doing more like I know my stuff with girls because my two sisters are, well, they're not, they're not little sisters now, like they're 16 and 13. Um, but because of like our big age gap, I was like there, like I was like a pre-teenager and a teenager while they grew up. So, so it, it was like, I, I had two like baby girls, like growing up around the house. And like, I was part of that, part of them growing up. So and obviously I'm a girly girl and I do my princessing, so I work with little girls a lot as well. So I feel like I really know my stuff with girls. So I'd be really happy if I had a girl because I would just go crazy with like pink and everything. Whilst they don't have a choice, obviously. Once they, once they have their own opinion, then they can ditch the pink if they want to. Um, so yeah, part of me like would be so thrilled to have a girl because of that reason. But then also having a boy First of all, having like the big brother, like the oldest being a boy as the big brother is like, I feel like that's like a perfect, perfect family. Like big brother and then we'll have like, in a couple of years we'll have a girl and he'll like look after the, his little sister. Like that would be really cute because I feel like my brother's looked out to me, looked out for me to an extent. Um, so that would be special and also just the thought, whilst I probably wouldn't know what I'm doing, I don't know dinosaurs and tractors and everything, I'd have to learn all that, um, but it would still be amazing, obviously. Um, it would also, just the thought of having a miniature version of Bobby actually just makes me want to bore my eyes out as well. Like a tiny little baby boy that looks just like Bobby. Um, if he does, he might look like me but as a boy, but hopefully if I do have a baby boy, it will be a miniature version of Bobby and he will just be the cutest, most perfect, beautiful thing. And yeah, just having a little miniature Bobby makes me want to cry so much. It sounds so magical. So honestly, if it's a girl, if it's a boy, I do not mind. Hopefully we'll have both in the future. Um, but yeah, I have no feeling, I have no idea what it is. Um, everyone, everyone thinks it's a boy. So we will see, we will soon find out and I can't wait. Okay, the next question is from one, from one of my old school friends, Kirsten. Um, and she said, what names are you thinking of? So this is a hard one to answer because we have our girl name and we have our boy name. We're pretty much 100% set on those names. I'll be honest, especially the boy name, I've that has been my like perfect dream boy name since before I even met Bobby. So that's been my boy name for like probably about five, six years, not gonna lie. And then when I met Bobby, we, I mean, we've talked about getting married and having kids from like day one of our relationship, to be honest. Um, and he loved that name as well. So it's always been our boy name. So I'm not gonna say it. I'll be honest that we have been quite open. Like we've been telling like, Anyone that asks me in person, like friends, family, colleagues, whatever, anyone that asks me in person, I'll tell them. I'm not that precious, but obviously I don't want to announce it here. I'd rather keep it a little bit more secretive, I guess. Um, well, not that it is a big secret, but you know, I've got my boy name, we've got our boy name, and we absolutely love it. And then our girl name, I think I've had picked out for about two years, maybe. Um, so not as long, but still a long time, like, before we had a baby, we knew our girl name as well. And I absolutely love our girl name so, so much. It's so perfect. I honestly adore it. And, and again, Bobby loves it as well. So yeah, we've got the girl name and the boy name set in stone. Has been for a good few years before we even um, knew we were pregnant. So yeah, it's funny though. What I will say is just, I'll give you a little sneak preview of girl names. So 
previously, obviously, where I said I had the boy name picked out for like five years, I had a girl name picked out around that same time, um, and that was always Aurora, um, because she's my favourite Disney princess, I think it's a beautiful name, I absolutely love the name. So I always had Aurora picked out as my first baby girl's name, but then obviously where I do my princess parties, I, um, I'm constantly meeting little kids, so I get to kind of hear what's popular in all the new name trends. So, because of that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like unusual names, but not unusual to the point where they're, like, just crazy. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, like, we haven't picked out, like, wild out there names, I wouldn't say, but they're just a little bit different. Um, and, but I wouldn't want to pick a name that suddenly becomes a trend and is really popular. And I definitely noticed over the last, like, two years, the, um the increase in people naming their girls Aurora. Like there's a lot of baby girls called Aurora now. I could probably count about 10 that I've met um, over the past two years, which I don't know, that just put me off completely. I thought I don't, I don't want our baby to have like three other people in their year group with the same name. Um, yeah, so yes, yeah, so that put, really put me off that name, but who knows, maybe in the future we might go back to it, but definitely not for this baby. Um, Aurora is out of the question. But yeah, that's just a little sneak peek of a name that I do like. But yeah, I'm not telling you our girl and boy name, but yeah, they're all picked out and they're both perfect. I love them so much. I'm just gonna show you the two personalities of my fiance because he asked me. First of all, he put, how do you stay so beautiful whilst growing another human? Love you, Bobby. How sweet is that? That's literally so cute. But then the other question he asked was new tit size question mark. I mean, that's not even funny. It's not funny. Sorry, guys. My camera died, so I had to go and charge it. But it timed quite well because I was starting to feel a bit sick. One thing about me being pregnant is I have to eat every few hours, otherwise I start to feel sick. So I just had a little snack break as well. <laughs> this is like my second snack this morning. I've had breakfast, two snacks, and it's nearly midday, so I'll be having some lunch soon. I just, I need to eat all the time, otherwise I feel so sick. Um, but yeah, I thought that would bring me on to the last question I'm going to answer, um, which is like a generalised little question about um, symptoms and cravings so far. So I will say that obviously now I'm at the start of the second trimester. The first trimester was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like I had no pre-warnings about how difficult it be the sheer exhaustion i've never experienced anything like it um like it's, it's annoying as well because if i complained about it to anyone then i get the whole oh just you wait until you've got the, the newborn baby and you won't be sleeping at night anymore anyway and that's when you'll be exhausted blah 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 um but honestly guys i can't explain the exhaustion that i have felt the whole through my first trimester i just felt like i couldn't get off the couch i could barely like my eyes were so tired all the time i would need to go to sleep at like half seven in the evening otherwise I'd fall asleep on the couch and then I'd sleep all the way through to the morning and then I'd wake up still feeling exhausted and then I'd feel like I need a nap in the afternoon like I just needed to sleep constantly just felt like doing anything like just going to do the food shop was just so exhausting and draining I cannot even explain it it was so hard and I think the worst part as well is like, obviously no one knew, like we hadn't told most of our family yet. So I just felt so like drained and bored because I was just stuck on the couch doing nothing, just feeling like rubbish. Um, and I couldn't like even talk to anyone about it. Like it, the first trimester is really quite lonely um, because no one knows what you're going through and no one like understands. And it's just really draining, but on the flip side, I do also feel really bad complaining about that because as far as pregnancy symptoms go, I've been incredibly lucky, lucky in the fact that I haven't been sick once. Like I've made it to 15 weeks without throwing up once. But that's not to say I haven't been nauseous. Like this is the weird thing. Like if I don't eat, I feel so sick. And if I smell something horrible or there's like dirt in the sink or on the side 
or I open the fridge or sometimes I'll even have dinner in front of me and I'll have spent like an hour cooking it and I'll be hungry and then I'll have it in front of me and I'll look at it and it'll just make me feel so sick. But I haven't actually been sick, I've just been so nauseous, which is kind of weird really. Um, but yeah, I am lucky in the fact that I haven't been thrown up at all. So I do feel bad, like as a whole, I can't really complain, but the exhaustion was just something I wasn't expecting. Um, and then obviously, like I say, if I don't eat, I start to feel sick as well. So yeah, just having to eat all the time has been crazy as well because I thought like previous me who would barely eat anything and was always dieting and always trying to stay like super skinny I always looked ahead like to being pregnant in the future where I can just eat all day long and how amazing it would be but it's weird how like much my appetite's changed like I get hungry and have to eat very very frequently but then sometimes my appetite's actually less because I can't like Previous me would be able to pile up a, a big dinner plate if I'm thinking like whatever I don't care I'm just gonna like stuff my face and I'll just keep eating and eating like even when I feel full I'll, I'll still keep eating I could eat like a big big plate whereas sometimes I feel like my appetite just goes so quickly like especially like if I'm eating a big meal like dinner um which is kind of weird like I didn't expect that and also like just like different cravings like I've definitely been craving savoury stuff more than sweet and normally I'm a big chocoholic and we have had so much chocolate around the house. Bobby's Charity had a big delivery from Cadbury so we've had loads of Cadbury's chocolate, like a ridiculous amount around the house. I've been buying hot chocolate which I normally love and whipped cream which in the winter I would normally like cane that like every day like a hot chocolate with whipped cream like that is heaven like that's normally my idea of heaven. Um, I would eat, want to eat so much chocolate all the time but since I've been pregnant I have not been reaching for it at all and like obviously over Christmas those people have given us chocolate as well I have not been reaching for it I've not been fancying it I have noticed maybe over the last week um, like when I got to like 14 weeks I have had a little bit more of, of a sweet tooth and I have started to pick it up and like eat it a bit and enjoy it but Compared to who I was before I was pregnant, like, I'm shocked at how little I've wanted it. Like, I've just been wanting to eat savoury stuff like crisps, um, bread, like, really boring stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, the only thing I've really been craving, actually, is crumpets. And I don't know if this is partly because of the fact that, like I say, before I would never really eat much. I wouldn't have breakfast. I would wake up and my first meal would be at like 2 p.m., like lunchtime. And partly I got into that habit because of not eating so much, I'll be honest, and trying to stay skinny. So that was always my habit. So I never had breakfast. And I feel like since I've been pregnant, obviously if I don't eat first thing in the morning, then I feel sick. So I've had to eat breakfast and I've really been enjoying it because it's not something that I normally like this sounds so pathetic but it's not something that I would normally treat myself to having breakfast which is kind of sad and pathetic but yeah I just really wanted to be skinny for work over the last few years so I've really enjoyed having crumpets for breakfast every morning like and I have to have them like burnt like crispy like they have to be toasted twice so they're like crispy on the outside but still like warm and gooey in the middle with loads of butter on that is my idea of heaven like that is what i've been craving all through this pregnancy which is crazy um like i didn't expect that something so boring like just breakfast is basically what i've been craving so yeah that's really been my only craving every now and then i get a weird craving for strawberry laces or like tantastics but that's quite that's only every few weeks really but crumpets is like an everyday thing and sometimes if i'm hungry in the evening like especially if i've had one of them things where i've made dinner and then it's made me feel sick and i haven't been able to eat it and then a couple of hours later i'm thinking hmm i could really fancy some crumpets now that i'm getting a bit peckish so yeah i just think about them all the time it's so weird um but yeah in general that's pretty much it symptoms wise my boobs are ginormous they are so sore i literally freak out if bobby even tries to touch them they're that sore um and i've been to primark and bought these like t-shirt bras that have no wires whatsoever and that's made my life a lot better um so yeah just boobs um what else just really freaking tired all the time it has got better now i'm in the second trimester i have got a bit more energy but yeah still tired in general like i am definitely still tired but a lot better bit more energy um what else what else gas 
Oh, I don't stop burping. It's really weird. Really weird. Um, I've been waking up about 20 times to pee in the night. I've been really thirsty recently. Can't stop drinking water. Um, which again doesn't help because then I'm like I'm just up all night peeing. I've had some weird dreams, which I think is a pregnancy symptom as well. Like they say night terrors. I wouldn't say I've had terrors, but just a few like slightly bad dreams, nothing like terrible. Um, but I've definitely had some weird dreams. Um, and I really couldn't sleep the other night as well. So I think pregnancy insomnia is a thing as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this now because I've probably done about 40 minutes this Q&A now, which is just ridiculous. I'll quickly show you my little 15 week bump. It's not crazy. Still quite small, not gonna lie. Um, but there's definitely something there. I don't fit any of my clothes anymore, that's for sure. Need to get it. Sorry guys, I've literally sat here for so long and waffled so much that I've exhausted the battery for a second time. So that is a sign to stop it right here. Let's end the video. I'm really sorry. I could just talk about this forever. Like we haven't chatted about this. Like this has been a big secret, a big elephant in the room and I wanted to come back to YouTube but I didn't know how to go about things without you guys knowing the secret. So now we can start a new chapter. Hopefully more vlogs and videos will be coming. Everything will probably be a bit different because I'm not, haven't got the same lifestyle let's say. I'm not doing all these amazing work stuff anymore because I've had to stop that already now that I've got a bump. Um, and my princess is going to have to stop soon as well because I can barely fit in my costumes. But yeah, let's catch up in regards to that stuff and my lifestyle another time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made it this far, don't know how you did um, because I've really rambled. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.